Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about money and the substrate it's commission. I've ever had people called sales ladies or salesmen or have you ever come across a real estate agent those people earn money through their hard work some companies believe that for you to get money you have to work very hard therefore this introduces us to a term called commission so what is this commission basically commission is a salary on what you sell you can't go to the company sit there the whole day without making any sales and expect anything at the end of the day for you to get something you have to work also commission is calculated on percentage of what you sell so if you sell a lot you'll also earn a lot but if you just sit down idling you'll also go home empty-handed so how do sales people get money there are some companies that will be very generous that is they give the sales people some amount every month what we call salary that is they can give you salary based on on monthly basis or on hours basis and in addition to that they'll tell you that if you work harder they'll give you commission depending on how you work therefore a salesperson can have two earnings one of it is basic salary plus commission so in total this is what you call total earnings to a person who works under commission total earnings that is whatever you earn or you get at the end of the month you can get the basic salary plus commission based on the the terms that are given by the company so how do we get this percentage commission because we are saying that commission is calculated on percentage of what you sell so how do we get percentage commission percentage commission is equal to the commission that you get over total value of goods multiplied by a hundred this is how you get percentage commission something else that you need to get into your mind is that the value of goods that you are selling are always equal to a hundred percent so total value of goods sold Are always equal to a hundred percent because as we proceed to reach a point and now you need to do what we call percentage relation so let's proceed and get our first example in this first example we are told that a company offers a commission of shillings 200 for every good sold worth a thousand mumma sold goods worth eight eight thousand the first question what was the commission Question two, what was his percentage commission? So we are saying commission is that money that you make after you make sales. For every 1,000 goods that you sell, you shall be given 200. That day, Momo went and sold goods worth 8,000. What was the commission? So if... For every 1,000 you are given 200, what about 8,000 you will be given how much? So you can cross multiply, whatever you don't know you give it letter x. So 1,000x is equal to 200 multiplied by 8,000. We want the value of x, we divide both sides by 1,000. And our x is equal to, this zero, zero, zeros cancel, so 8 times 2 is 16 plus the two zeros which is 1600 therefore that day mumo went home with 1600 simply because he made sales worth 8000 what if you could have worked harder and made maybe 10000 sales 
then he could have also gone home with a higher amount. Part B of the question was, what was his percentage commission? And we have said, percentage commission is equal to commission of a value of goods, total value of goods sold, TV, TVS stands for total value of goods sold, multiplied by 100. And the commission was 1,600. Total value of goods sold was 8,000, then multiplied by 100. So two zeros, they cancel. By 8, 1, by 8, it's 20. And the percentage is 20%. In our know, example 2, we are told that a bookseller received a commission of 12% of the value of books sold if he earned a commission of 7,200 on books sold, what was the value of books he sold? So this 12% of the value of books sold, this is the commission. So we are given commission in terms of percentage. Again, we are given commission in terms of quantity. So also the commission is 7,200. What was the value of uh, books he sold? So this brings us to what we call percentage relation. And as I, as I was beginning the lesson, I said that the total value of goods sold is always equal to 100%. So that one is going to guide us to get the total value of books sold. By saying if this 12% is equal to 7,200, because this is a commission in terms of percentage, this is a commission in terms of quantity. What about... 100% for the total value of goods sold will be equal to which quantity? Then now we cross multiply. 12% X is equal to 7,200 multiplied by 100%. Remember we want the value of X, so we do away this 12%. We divide the 12% on both sides. This percent goes that percent. By 2, it's 6. By 2, it's 50. By 2, it's 3. By 2, it's 25. By 3, 1. By 3, 2, because of 6, remainder 1. That one, bring it here, 12. 12 divided by 3, it's 4. So, 24 times 25. And remember, there are two zeros there. Times 25, we get 0. 0, 20, carry 2. 10, 12. 0084 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6. Therefore, the value of good that was sold were 60,000. Were 60,000. Because it's a total value of good, that's why the seller was given a commission of 7,200 after. He had sold goods worth 60,000. Let's get our second example. In our third example, we are told that a salesman is paid a salary of 2,500 and a commission of 3% of, of, of the value of items he sells. In one month, he sold goods worth 43,500. How much money did he earn that month? So, earning. We said that total earning depends with the company. That is, if you are being given a salary and also commission. In this case, the, the salesperson was given a basic salary of 2,500. Therefore, the basic salary was 2,500 plus a commission, which is 3% of the value of the goods or items he sold. Therefore, total earning will be basic salary plus the commission. And because we don't know the commission, now we use percentage relation. We are told that the commission that was given was 3% of the value of the goods sold. And the value of goods sold was for 3,500. Therefore, now we can get the commission, which is if 100%, remember we also said that the total value of goods sold is always equal to 100%. So if 100% is equal to total value of goods sold for 3,500, what about 3% will be which quantity? 
we cross multiply and we get a hundred percent x is equals to 43,500 multiplied by three percent we want x over a hundred percent also here over a hundred percent the percentages they cancel and our x is equals to these two zeros also they cancel so 43 5 multiplied by 3 which is 15 carry 1 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 10 12 12 plus 1 is 13 and the commission was 1305 in terms of quantity now you want to know how much money did he earn that month he is earning two things the basic salary plus the commission and our commission we got it as 1305 so let's put together 2500 plus our three percent which is now in terms of quantity is 1305 Therefore, in that one month, the salesman went home with 3,805. Let's do our next example. A vehicle was sold for 2,250,000 through a dealer. The owner received 2 million. What percentage commission did the dealer get? So the total price of the car was 2,250,000. So this is the total sales. The dealer, after selling this car, he gave the owner of the car 2 million. Remember, a dealer is a person who works on behalf of the owner of the company. So a dealer is just basically a salesperson. Because the car doesn't belong to him, he just sells on behalf of the owner of the car. So this dealer, he sold the car at this. This is the total sales. It was two million two hundred and fifty thousand. But the owner of the car gets two million. So where did the other amount go? The other amount went to the to the to the car dealer. The commission is what now the dealer got, which is the value of goods sold. Take away whatever was given to the owner of the car. For two minus two is zero. So this dealer got two hundred and fifty thousand in terms of cash. So, but the question is asking what percentage commission did the dealer get, and how do we get percentage commission? Percentage commission is equal to commission over total value of goods sold multiplied by a hundred. And the commission is 250,000 over total value of goods, which is 2,250,000 multiplied by 100. Two zeros cancel. One, two, one, two. So by five, it's 45. By five, it's 500. By five is nine. By five, it's 100. So 100 divided by nine. 10 divided by 9, it's 1 because of 9. 10 divided by 9, it's 1 because of 9. Then we remain with 1. Therefore, it's 11 and 1 over 9%. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe. Also, remember to press the notification bell, share with your friends, and also practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thanks for